hi in this video we are going to see how to make your own server for android and drone engage this is not like the online server on the internet that you can use uh, because it is simpler and it doesn't have a, a database however the main advantage of using this server is that you do not need internet at all you don't need to be online so this is very useful in areas where you don't have access to internet or to a mobile network and you still have and you still want to control your drone and uh, stream video even maps can be on the local server and this server can be as small as raspberry pi 4 so you don't need to access google maps you can uh, store your own maps on the Raspberry Pi 4 and this is all the hardware you need to have this server up and running. The, the first prerequisite is that we need a computer which is Raspberry Pi 4. For sure you can use uh, Ubuntu uh, desktop or laptop. The computer should have a static IP this is very important the script is, assumes the static ip is uh, 192 168 uh, for sure you can change it and we will see how in the script it is recommended to use usb3 flash memory uh, if you are going to use raspberry pi 4 instead of using the sd card because it is much faster At this step, I assume that now you have a Raspberry Pi up and running with a static IP and you are able to access it via SSH. You need to enter the Raspberry Pi using SSH, open a terminal, and you can use wget command to download the script. As we can see, this is the script. This, this command will download the script. You can edit the script and change the domain name and the IP. I recommend not to change the domain name for now because the domain name has um, a SSL certificate. If you are going to change the domain name, then you need to make your own SSL certificate for it. Now we have the Raspberry Pi installed. And ready we can connect using SSH now it is empty we can go here okay change mode
okay now we are done as we can see we have four processes up and running android authenticator android server map map server is just an empty folder uh, that should be filled with uh, maps and the web client if we going to ping here uh, we can check here the host uh, host we will find the air gap here if i bring the air gap here it will reply this is the raspberry pi but why it replies because i already defined is the uh, domain name on the host here Okay, but let's ping here. It doesn't reply. We need to add the this entry to the host file on my uh, laptop desktop. Here it is. Now, when I bring it replies. But if you have other, uh, if you are using Drone Engage, then you can go to the Raspberry Pi uh, boards of Drone Engage and apply the same changes. And uh, that's all you need. Now we need to go to the router. The setting differs from a router to another. But you need to change the DNS server to point to the uh, Raspberry Pi. Okay, we need to save this. And we start the router. Now the site uh, is up and running on air gap drone engage. This is the local site and the connection is secure. As you can see here, it's very valid, but to make it valid like that, we need to download this certificate or we can just copy it like that. Go here and um, my boot certificate the CRT and paste it like that now we need to go here to the settings certificate and go here to the authority what are we doing now is that we we give the browser a certificate to, uh, as a root certificate uh, that we use to generate the other ssl certificate for this domain and we can use it to generate certificates for different domains but the root certificate need to be defined here next to other uh, root certificates here so that the ssl of this domain is trusted by the browser so we just import the file here it is and we are done Now I'm going to connect to the local Drone Engage uh, website from my mobile. As you can see, 
the site is connected and you can use the account here to connect you are online now and the connection here is secure this is feasible only after two things the first thing is that uh, we need to uh, deploy DNS uh, server and adjust the router the Wi-Fi router in the home the second thing is that we need to install a certificate to trust this connection the certificate is installed from here Again, it differs from a mobile to another. I can use also Android here in the connection I need to make sure that I connect to the right server which is here here again Dot. Don't engage .com. saved saved Saved. Drone mode activated. Access code test. Joined successfully. Drone mode activated. Validated access code. Connecting to server. Now I connect here. Now I will connect also from the desktop. As you can see, it is working and everything is local. You don't need to access internet at all.